Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Snake Lady and today I have very squiggly Artemis with me. She reminds me so much of a Sclepian because she's just so fast. And yet again, I don't know if that's an anery thing or what, but uh, yeah, she's trying to hide up my sleeve at the moment. So today I wanted to show you a video of me making some more cottage core slash forest core hides. This time I wanted to sort of do like a tree stump effect kind of hide as it were so um, i'm just going to show you a video of me making those and then you can see the final results at the end of the video so uh, yeah i'm not going to go on too long but uh, yeah i hope you enjoy the video and thank you very much for watching <laughs> this girl is so squiggly today so if any of you watched my haul video um, from last time, I did actually show you these hat boxes and they did have the lids on, but I've taken the lids off. Um, and I'm gonna make these into uh, hides for my snakes and specifically giving them that uh, cottage core, forest core kind of theme. So I'm gonna make these into tree stumps. So uh, I haven't done this before, so we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> These are my six boxes, they are there. And I have these paints, obviously, so red and green for making brown, uh, white if I want the, uh, like a lighter wood effect, excuse any cars you can hear going past, by the way. Um, and I do have black as well if I want to make anything darker. So I've got that. And behind there, I have my little pot with uh, my paintbrush in. So uh, yeah, let's get on. made this brown colour and uh, yeah I'm going to get started with painting these. So I've done all six hides to look like sort of loggy stump type things. Um, so yeah, the hides are coming along pretty well. Um, I've got to do um, some grass that I'll put around sort of like the bottom part. Um, and I've got these stickers as well. So there's flowers there. Um, and I've got some mushrooms, I think. Yeah, there we go. So mushroom toadstools. Um, and yeah, just some more flowers as well. So that's just to decorate it with afterwards. So I'm going to get on with mixing some green paint and um, making it look all grassy and mossy and everything. So uh, yeah, there we go.
So as you can see, I've put the toadstool stickers on and the uh, flowery ones as well. So I've done that with all six of these hides. And uh, yeah, so I think what I might do now is um, with this green paint here, um, I'm going to just paint some moss and bits and bobs on here and even on the top. So uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that next. So what I'm going to do next is Mod Podge all these, they're everywhere, these hides at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some Mod Podge and seal all of it in and then I'm just going to decorate it with a few little leaves and um, bits and bobs. So uh, yeah, and then they should be complete. So I'll get on with that. have these leaves again and I think what I'm going to do is just pull each of these leaves off and then just put them around here. This is the hide completed and as you can see I've got the leaves on top and over the little doorway bit got toadstools and flowers and I've just kind of done that alternately. There's more toadstools and flowers and everything there. But I'll just turn that around a little bit. There we go. So that's the back as well. And yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Um, I think it looks great. It's, you know, cheap and easy to make. And uh, I'm hoping that you've kind of enjoyed this process and you like what you see. So that's the hide in Artemis's tank and she is just there going along the top. So uh, yeah, we'll see what she makes of it. And I'm just going to put this in here as well. Oh, I don't know what she's doing. But yeah, so I've just put the basket hide on top as well, which is what I wanted to do. So uh, yeah, it's looking good. As you can see from that video, the hides went really well. I think that, you know, once I got started on them and stuff, I sort of had an idea of how I wanted them to look. I enjoyed every part of that process of making them it's just another sort of budget hide something that you can make and if you're feeling crafty you know you can maybe give it a go yourself some of the hides that you buy online can be expensive but you know that's up to you if you want to buy them i've bought them in the past but i thought well why not combine my love of snakes and you know my love of looking after my snakes and crafting why don't i combine that and put that together so um, i'm hoping it might give some of you out there some inspiration to sort of make your own hides. I do have uh, obviously that sort of cottage core, forest core theme going on with them, um, with these snakes behind me and the ones to the side of me. So anyway, if you have enjoyed this video and you've got some inspiration from it, please like and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos. And if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that, then just pop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer. But for now, for myself and a crazy Artemis, it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>